round out the order against Braxton Garrett, who goes to work. His first pitch is in there for a strike. And his night under vision for Garrett. Marlins won that game in extra innings, however. Inside corner for strike two. That the Marlins would have hoped he eventually would as a first round draft pick. With a 189 ERA over his last three starts. Well, you know what I love is, is it's crazy to see how much he's evolved and so quickly. Here's another crazy number for him. Slider now, 22%. Excuse me, 33% now in the big. A lot of that is the consistent work with Mel Stottlemyre Jr. I mean, we've said it about a lot of different guys. We, we mentioned it last year when Jesus Luzardo came over in the spring. Maybe start to see something with Luzardo. And Luzardo could see him with it. Again, when he got up to the big leagues, he realized quickly he was going to need an off speed pitch other than it's his number one used pitch and what he puts away guys with. But he loses Newman here with the leadoff walk. Pitch to keep Ryan Hayes. But below the zone there, one and one. A one one pitch. So a little room for that first one. They just hang out out over, which is where he tries to get his outs. Chopper over to third. Anderson waits on a good hop, so he takes the out at first, but it was a high throw. Wait for that second hop. Made him have to rush the throw. Michael Chavis takes high. And Brian Anderson hasn't had many great bounces as of late that one fouled back one and one. the truth is he's been getting some real bad hops oh for sure I think that's what I feared for him at third base one two to Chavis who just got a piece of that one to stay alive this their first game of the second half they come in 39 and In the dirt, skips away from Garrett. It's on the way to Chavis, who swings and misses. First strikeout for Garrett. The DH at bats going forward as the Pirates traded away. Daniel Vogel back just about a fifth. No, all good. And yeah, nice little arm, too, out of that pen. Sue go down the left field line, but foul. Sutsugo takes inside corner for a strike, and it's two. And right there, strike three call. Back to back strikeouts for Braxton Garrett. Back to back K's after the first two guys get on base, and here is Diego Castillo taking a called strike. Good pitch, 0 oh and 2. Yeah, that's a good 0 oh and 2. Called strike three. Three consecutive strikeouts. For when you see the same team in back to back starts, what do you do? Do we stay with the game plan that worked or do we switch it? This ball's late. When before it was sliders late. And he's doing that early, 0 oh 1. 0-2 pitch to Cal Mitchell, and he went around, so make it four consecutive strikes. Now Jake Marisnik goes after the first one down the right field line, and that will fall. Two strikes. Out towards center for Sanchez. Makes the catch. Just to get through that first inning. Stranded two and struck out three. The old slide ball. Lofts it toward shortstop, and it's Mickey to make the play. League favorite thing about baseball: learning the game and the competition of the game. Also love school, especially math, which is nice. We got some somewhat unfortunate news on Jazz earlier today. We'll pass that along in just a moment. First, that one. Side force. 
and the results came back that it is in fact a stress fracture and he is going to be out at least enough on Monday. He was swinging. That was not necessarily the problem as much as it was the running. And he is going to be missed, and you just hope that he gets healthy soon. That one down the left field line. Soler turns, looks, and watches it go. Jason DeLay with a home run. Delay kept it fair. A good job of going down, getting it, staying through it, and keeping it fair. So Delay had to wait until his third of Newman. It takes a strike on the outside. No. He'll get off the Schneid eventually. Line towards short. Miggy makes the play for out number one. And Hayes with one out. Goes after the first one. Wendell calls everybody off, makes the catch. And they're making start number 276. Roller toward shortstop for Rojas. Up with it to get Chavis on Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Marlins spend the weekend here and then head to Cincinnati, an NL Central road trip. Since June 22nd against the Rockies. So a lot of strings coming to an end there. That uh, school nine and uh, a third games without a home run as Braxton Garrett gets the strike out there of Sutsugo for. Upstairs to Diego first inning. Braxton got himself into some trouble in that first. This one lifted out to right. Avi going back, but with plenty of room. Puts it away for out number two. In the right direction. You're a magician with words, Paul. But I give the assist to Will Waldman on that one. I will say this at throwing strikes. He's only second behind Richard Blyer. Bouncer to first. Cooper steps on the bag, and it's a one leadoff home run in the third. Eight in the first inning. How he continues to attack the zone. It makes other teams have to be aggressive. And when you attack the zone. Like Riznik 0 for 1. Fly out to center. Takes one upstairs there. Now skies this one out. Shallow center. Wendell calling everybody off. Now Wendell and Sanchez. You, you know, you just have to, at this point in the season, they really have played with each other long enough that those little mistakes don't happen. Because it's how guys get hurt. You're right. I mean, that one's down and in, one and two. It's an easier ball than the person who's backpedaling. But... Swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Garrett. Make back to Garrett. So now facing Delay, who homered earlier, and takes a strike on the outside corner. So to go back to what we had talked about just before the punch out was get under it and hang out. Well, the, the two most important that. Uh, Keith Johnson will pull those guys aside or I'll put bridges around here. That's what I hear. Most bridges, right? A lot of water. Called strike three. Garrett gets the call. Little All four quadrants of the strike zone for him. And Mel thinks this time around, he's also throwing a lot more strikes, which is helping. Helping uh, for sure to throw more strikes and to get quick outs, which he's run back in the third inning. Meanwhile, the Marlins since that home. He can start using that change up more. That's what a starting pitcher when you to this point, he literally has thrown six. Ground ball to short. Two outs for Michael Chavis. 
swings over the top of that one that he kept showing the slider was the pitch that he mentioned but he keeps showing it on bat, and that's why he wasn't working deep in the games but I mean outside of that first inning the pitch count's been in a great spot all night tonight a toy and that's what he's doing and when you can use all four sides of the strike zone gee now I can go through that lineup more than two times no certainly had checked there that's a fair ball Anderson strong throw and they got him at first.